time capsule now takes you back to the 60s and lands in South Florida. The merger of the Atlantic Coastline and Seaboard Airline took place July 1st, 1967. So there's no telling what paint schemes we're going to see here in 1969. We get started at the washer in Hialeah, SCL 592 is an E8A. Here's uh, Penn Central's Elberton, still in the Pennsylvania lettering, making it through the washer. By the way, the uh, white stripes are not water or soap. They're actually scratches to the negatives. Built by Pullman Standard in 1956, the national scene is a sleeper, formerly Union Pacific 1210. A rarity to the washer, even back in 1969, is this RF&P E8A. Hialeah is just outside of Miami. The passenger cars were stored and sorted there. Hialeah was also the home of an engine servicing facility. This 1551 is a GP40. Elko RS3s were a familiar sight uh, back in 1969. 14-12 appears to be a GP35. A couple of views here of switch engine 41. The main line to the passenger station in Miami curves left. Looking straight ahead is the Homestead Extension. The bridge is over the uh, Miami River. If you look closely, you can see the semaphore still in place right before the bridge. The area we are shooting from is now where the present Amtrak station for Miami is located. At one time, back in 1969 included, the station was located in downtown Miami as seen in these views. present year. Where will the railroad time capsule land next? Why not subscribe and find out?